I remember Jerry from uh, when I first became a senator, and I think he became a main anchor about that time. Um, we have fond memories of Jerry, whether he's speaking someplace or whether I'm listening to him on the television. Uh, he's just a very thorough, um, interesting person to listen to. Jerry, I just want to say congratulations to you on your retirement. You have been a fixture at Channel 20 all these years, and you will be greatly missed. You have been the anchor man that has really made this whole thing solid. So best of luck to you in your new adventures. It's the Green Hyundai Cam. You're watching ABC News Channel 20. Next week. Still touch the low 90s for a high. Your complete forecast is on the way next. Uh, on behalf of the Illinois Patriot Guard, Jerry, we want to thank you for your service to our country and to Central Illinois. We're going to miss you and wish you the best. Thank you. Everyone is going to miss you tremendously. Uh, I know that you're going to be extremely happy with what you're doing, but uh, you don't know that the happiness that you brought to everyone here in Springfield and in the surrounding communities. So uh, uh, we wish you the best. What he does. Very hot. Jerry's a great friend of law enforcement in Sandman County, in this community in general, so we're really going to miss him. Um, when, when things got out of control, like uh, weather, for instance, Jerry was always there, and people tuned in to hear him, to hear that calming voice, and uh, reassure them that everything was going to be okay. So we're really going to miss him in, in Sandman County. Jerry is such a health nut, he is such a family man, and he has such a great sense of humor. And that's one thing that folks don't know, just seeing him on the news in the evenings. But it's something that I really cherish about him. Thinking your own. I grew up watching Jerry on TV, and I always thought he was so cool. And then I grew up and actually worked at Channel 20 with Jerry, and that was a really neat experience. Uh, he's a true professional, and he has a heart of gold, and I know I'll miss him, and all of Springfield will definitely miss him, too. Amber has frequented the store, if not daily, at least once, twice a week to, to make a salad off of our salad bar. Jerry, we thank you for your uh, patronage. We thank you for your professionalism and delivering the news uh, the way you have. And congratulations and good luck on your retirement. <laughs> I love oh, it. The nice. salad bar people are Absolutely. schnooks every day. And those you told me about the chicken there, too, yeah. on yeah. that salad bar. Yes. Very excellent salad bar. Jerry, so Rick, you got to go there. Bar. And today's yeah, your right. birthday, and you don't look 29 at all. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, he's doing well, good George Burns was 39, wasn't it? Yes, so I'll stick with that. That's more credible, I would think, more believable. In the meantime, all right, let's take a look at the forecast here tomorrow, 90, with a rain or storm chance mainly tomorrow night, but we're talking slight chances here and again on Saturday, too. Okay, Rick, thanks a lot. That's mm -hmm. our time. Thanks for watching. World News is next. We'll see you back here at 6. Good night. Today's closed captioning is made possible by Stalls Furniture in Mount Pulaski. I think the most memorable moment with Jerry is, of course, March 12th, 2006. That's the night of the Springfield tornadoes. He and I were in the studio all night long covering the event on air that entire time. And I'll never forget, right when the tornado went over the roof of the station, those lights going back and forth. And Jerry looked up, and then he kept talking and kept going on. That's a sign of a great anchor man to be able to do that under that kind of pressure. 91 Saturday with that rain chance and then we get really hot here as we head into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with high temperatures into the mid 90s. Jerry, it's my pleasure to give you my, a special forecast tonight. It's the Jerry forecast and it's got <laughs> nothing but sunshine. How's that Jerry? 80 degrees every day, overnight lows, good porch weather in the mid 60s and most importantly Jerry, you will be missed. Thank you. And thank you for not raining on my parade. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and listen, I've only worked with you for about three months, mm -hmm. but I've been in this business for over 15 years, I think. Maybe not that long. But uh, <laughs> you are truly one of my favorites. Thank you. Uh, in the time I've worked with you in a short time, it's pretty amazing. And we are also neighbors, by the way. We Jerry. certainly are. Thank yeah. you very much. But, uh, we'll miss you a lot. You're an extreme professional, and uh, I'm quite sure the audience, as well as Channel 20, very happy you're here. Well, thank you. I and Liz, that. you go without saying. Oh, for sure. thanks. We're going to do another goodbye so for We later certainly on. will. Okay. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. He is an icon in central Illinois. Not only did I grow up watching him on TV because I grew up in the community, but I also had the pleasure to work with him. So, Jerry, we're going to miss you, but have fun in the next chapter in your life.
Jerry, thanks for all your support of community agencies like ours, uh, and especially thanks from Big Brothers Big Sisters for all you've done for us over the years. And the Olympics, we're going to talk about it. Don't go anywhere. Sports is next. I am so grateful for Jerry. When I started at Channel 20, he really took me under his wing and really guided me and helped me, you know, become the person that I am today. I started um, as an intern. I was a floor director and an intern. And, you know, Jerry really just helped me along. He was always willing to help. He was so kind, always a professional. And I'm really, really going to miss him. Thinking about buying a home? Or at home. Well, we hate to see Jerry go. You know, he's a brother vet. He's a member of the American Legion. He's done an awful lot of good things for the veterans, the, for the community, and the one good thing, he's always remembered the troops coming home, and uh, we've been very pleased with that, you know, and he's just been a positive, uh, positive influence, not only for the veterans community, but for the whole city of Springfield. Absolutely, and it's not just your last day, it's also your birthday, so happy birthday. birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, Jerry has been the face of ABC News Channel 20 for 17 mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. and you've left such a huge mark on this community that you're really leaving behind some huge shoes to fill. Absolutely. It has been an honor to sit next to you at this Thank desk. You. Thank you. And uh, your talent and professionalism is not easy to come by. So no. I have really enjoyed working with you Thank and you. Um, wish you nothing but the best. But no. Jerry leaving is not just a loss for WICS. It's a huge loss for all of Central Illinois, but we all wish you the best in your retirement. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, I'm standing on some very big shoulders. <laughs> Don Hickman, uh, so many others in the newsroom that were here when I arrived that helped guide me along to give me the opportunity to come here and sit on the desk and make an impression on Central Illinois. So it's been a wonderful ride. It's been a great experience. So many names that I could mention that uh, if I mention one or two, then I have to remember everybody and I don't want to leave anybody out. But my wife and I have made Central Illinois and Springfield our home for 17 years and it's just been the kind of experience that changes your life. I mean, you can't spend so much time in one place and not feel the culture of the community. I'm gonna miss the Sweet Corn Festival. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the, the State Fair and all the things that are so common to people here but once you've been here and then you leave and you look back on it it's the experience of a lifetime so i'm very happy for everything that we've been able to achieve while we're here i'm also happy that abc news channel 20 was very accommodating to me they gave me the opportunity to call my own shots to leave when i wanted to and they've just been so gracious tim mathis and of course katie fay our news director so many people uh, all these some of the old anchors susan finzen wendy ryan i had to write them down <laughs> elizabeth Willie, Julie Staley, Marianne Manco, and of course Liz Foster. <laughs> and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity that I was given to come here and serve the Central Illinois community. It's been fun. It's been great. You guys are extreme yeah. professionals. The newsroom is in great hands. You're, you're in line for some tremendous news coverage on the part of ABC News Channel 20. With the guidance we have now and with the motivation on the part of our staff, it's just going to be great. So thank you very much for a 17-year run. I will remember you always. You'll be in my heart forever. That's oh, for sure. Liz, thanks, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you very much. Rick, you too. You too. Thanks, Absolutely, sure. Krista. Well, for I guess that's time. it. <laughs> that's it for us. Have yourself a very good night, and we will see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much.